Hey everyone, Dusty from NVIDIA here, back from GTC. Thanks to everybody who came out, it was really great meeting everybody. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update on this demo because there were a few features I added right before the show that did not make it into the last video. Those being uh, multimodal RAG and one-shot uh, recognition, which basically completes the whole workflow of, of this demo, being able to like tag things and have the VLM recognize it based on uh, your image tagging. So uh, we see here, uh, let's get it to, to recognize who I am, like my name uh, personally. So first what I'm going to do is add myself to the vector DB and tag me in there. So I press this, it takes a current picture and add a tag of me, okay? And then um, if I change the prompt to uh, what's my name and enable the RAG system, uh, it will then inject the tag back into the prompt, just like it would on a text-based rag, uh, based on you know this metadata that that's in the image there. And and basically how this works is if the um, the similarity score of the highest match from the vector DB exceeds the rag threshold, it injects that tag back into the prompt so that uh, the the LLM the VLM is able to answer based off of it. And then uh, I mean, we can demo showing like the event filtering here and um, stuff like that. So um, yeah, okay. So let's go on to another example of using this. Um, okay, so here's another, it just doesn't just recognize people or it, it'll do it with anything. So here it says it gets it right as like a toy tractor. Right, but, but what kind of tractor it doesn't know that that it's a John Deere? So let's tag that in the system here. So John Deere, just like hold it up, get a good picture of it, add it in. So now that's the highest match, and we enable rag on it. There we go. It says it's now John Deere tractor instead. Okay, very good. Um, let's try again with another example, this one being uh, the caterpillar. Okay, we'll add this to the vector DB2. All right, enable rag again. Up, oh, yep, yeah. and now it's able to answer correctly as the caterpillar. Very good, okay. So basically, this is a very nice, powerful system that you can you know instantly add any objects into uh, for one shot recognition or classification without having to retrain or fine tune but barring that um, you know you can always use the the bigger model if you need better this is still running with Vila 2.7b like last time or you can go and fine tune it or do a Laura which we're going to be exploring in future tutorials being able to run that even on Jetson AGX over in 64 gigabyte because there's like more than enough memory on board. And I talked to a bunch of people at GTC last week who have, you know, fine-tuned their own lava models and it turns out it's, it's not that bad. So uh, we'll get into doing that ourselves. Another um, update to give you guys here is that we met so many great people last week that wanted to be in, involved with the project and, um, you know, start, start contributing and, and work together and collaborate that we started this. Um, Jetson AI Lab research group um, through the Jetson AI Lab page. And we're going to start meeting starting uh, next week, April 3rd. And there's a bunch of uh, members that we've already been working with that, that either I know or from the community that have been contributing here. And this is open to anybody. Anybody in the world is welcome to join this and you know discuss topics that we want to do some of which are like uh, a system with the uh, uh, integration with home assistant.io project um, this notion of a controller llm that that sits in front of the rest of the system for the user to interface with and can dynamically task the pipeline and you know fine-tuning um, llms and vlms on board since agx Owen has has so much memory and another one we're going to do is the continuous multi-image streaming through the VLM system. Since Vila actually supports multiple images, it's just that uh, I haven't figured out all like the KV cache manipulation uh, uh, essential for, for doing all that yet. Um, but yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Check out this demo in Jetson AI Lab. 
All the containers and code are all up there. All right, thanks. Catch you later next time.